Hello and welcome to the Alter Aeon October 2019 Monthly Update Audio Presentation. I am Shadowfax, the voice of Alter Aeon. As our first order of business, it is my pleasure to announce the dates of this year's Halloween Havoc. The event is an annual tradition orchestrated by the master world builder Morpheus. This is our biggest and best event of the year, as Morpheus does not disappoint. He and his team have literally been working on it for several months. If there is any event on Alter Aeon that you do not want to miss out on, this is it. The event will be for players of all levels, with content for both newcomers and old timers alike. It will begin sometime on Wednesday, October 30th, and run until the morning of Tuesday, November 5th. Sometime that following week, a new island for the continent of Gianasi will be released. As a side note, I would like to alert new players and remind old players that Halloween Havoc is not only a fantastic event in and of itself, but it also heralds what one could call the event season of Alter Aeon. After Halloween, we typically have an event toward the end of November around the Thanksgiving holiday, then another event for the winter solstice, and following that we have yet another event in January to celebrate Alter Aeon's anniversary, which will be our 25th next year. Each of our events is operated by our talented building staff, so there is a lot more fun to look forward to. In September, Drock made a lot of changes to crafting while I focused on jobs, which has largely been the case for the past couple of months. Major crafting changes in September include the following. The cost for splitting and combining metal has been reduced. The cost of smelting has also been significantly reduced. Grips can be added to woodcraft bows, a great idea from Leoric. Nearly a dozen new weapons were added to metallurgy to emphasize differences in speed and damage between various handle lengths. A new alloy was added, liver copper. Hone weapon is now directly dependent on metallurgy instead of forged simple weapon, so that hone weapon and balanced weapon do not require you to be able to craft weapons yourself. You must still know forged simple weapon in order to learn customized weapon, however. Job changes include having incomplete jobs save across reboots, except for delivery jobs because that wouldn't make sense with delivery objects not saving on logout anymore. We added five new gather type jobs, lumberjack, slaughterhouse, fishmonger, ironmonger, and skinner. These involve having to bring the job giver a certain amount of wood, meat, fish, ore, or skins, respectively. We also added a job reject command. That way you can disable a job that you have no intention of fulfilling so it doesn't keep showing up on your jobs list. Here are some other changes in September. Sea encounters have a higher chance of occurring and the cooldown between them has been lowered. Moon dust can now be quite a bit higher level. We added an option for set keep object. A keep flag prevents objects from being dropped, given away, donated, sold, auctioned, thrown in a fire, and otherwise removed from a player's inventory. Keep supersedes and replaces credit by NOSAC, as it is completely free and can be toggled on and off objects as desired. Drocht worked really hard on that one. Please thank him if you like this change. The Thief Poison Brew is now Basic Poison, because it conflicted with Poison Ivy and Poison Mushroom in the Spell Parser. Help pages now show the relative speed of combative spells and skills. Keep in mind that many melee skills can be performed more quickly than the listing with fast weapons and equipment that adds attacks. The Favor command now indicates when you have maximum favor for better tracking when priest jobs will give you bonus experience. Your waypoint list will now indicate how much time remains for a temporary waypoint created by a hallowed ground spell. So, here are our plans for October. All the major crafts will be able to accept a level argument, so you can make equipment of any level lower or equal than your own. This will allow a great deal of flexibility when crafting for other characters. 
the craft restringer will get a few tweaks for more variety, more sea encounters will be added, including a few more non-combat ones. We'll be rounding out jobs with just a couple more job types and call it a day. Or a year, as the case may be. Drock might finally get around to improving pumpkin carving if he has time. If I have time, I'll be tweaking the witch class in preparation for the Halloween event. If you haven't already heard, my interview with Drock is now available to the public. Check the description for a link. And finally, on behalf of the staff of Alter Aeon, I would like to wish everyone listening a safe and prosperous harvest season. Happy mudding, everybody! That concludes this monthly update. Archives and resources for our audio updates can be found at www.lawful-evil.org slash videos. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more presentations like this one, or follow us on Facebook or Twitter. We invite you and your friends to come play this month with us on Alter Aeon, where every day is an adventure. Thanks for listening, and happy mudding, everybody! Alteraeon.com. That's A L T E R A E O N.com. <laughs>